Oh, hi there. I know what you're wondering. Does a Festool track saw fit on a Makita track? Yes, yes it does. In today's exciting episode, we compare the Festool cordless track saw with the Makita cordless track saw. <laughs> It fits like a dream. One thing to consider though is, even though the saw fits, the depth adjustment is different, and also where you cut the rubber is different. These tracks have already been used for our Makita saws, so they're cut to a certain position, and the offset must be different because we have to allow a couple mil extra away from the rubber when using this on the track. Festool has a riding knife on it. I've actually had problems with my Makita track saw that I have, the corded version, jamming. An area where the saws are quite different is in the depth adjustment. The Festool here has a push-in system and you just go like that. I'm a big fan of that. Makita's depth adjustment is more of a traditional windy untwist that and move it up and down. They both have the side-by-side -side batteries and you can check the battery there and this one here, I don't know if you can check it, can you check it? Oh, you can check it at the end here. I'll give it a whirl though. Might be a pleasant surprise. Okay. And the blade change. The blade change on the Makita is like the circular saws. Once you've pushed it down, you click this in to lock the blade. And it has the Allen key down here to take the blade out. But the Festool has this system, which is pretty cool. You unclick that, and that's the blade locked. And then the Allen key is in here. And then you loosen that. We've been using the Festa one with the bag instead of a vacuum and we've been using the Makita one with this Bluetooth system. So you plug this little thing here into there. Alright, battery's in. Nothing happened. It's here. Oh yeah, that's probably it. Nope. Closer? Sweet. There we go. It's pretty cool though. I wonder how far. Look at here. This is how far I can get away. Yeah, yeah. How far is that? Yeah. Far enough. So, dust extraction. The Festool has a similar Bluetooth kind of system. We don't have that here, so that's why we've been using the bag that the saw comes with. And it's not as good as having a vacuum attached, obviously. There's a lot of dust around there. Pardon? Dust, there's a lot of dust around. A lot of dust still gets out and I would probably only use this bag if I was quickly trimming a door or, you know, cutting something outside. I wouldn't use it day to day inside a job. But that's when you'd have the vacuum and they have the Bluetooth vacuum now. And if you get the batteries to match it, I think the trigger activates the vacuum. So we've ended up with dust everywhere because sometimes the pairing of the Bluetooth doesn't work. And it's kind of like when you're pairing your phone with a speaker or something and you have to like sync it. So what, nothing beats just plugging the track saw in and they're working every time. Yeah. What's your verdict on the track saws? This is the winner bro for me. Yeah, out of the festival and that? Yeah. What are your main reasons? Cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they do the same thing, you know. But you know, one's cheaper than the other and uh, unless this is Bluetooth bro. You may as well get a cord, you know? Yeah, true. Yeah, mm -hmm. What do you reckon? I agree with you, man. I agree with you. 
So for this video, I'm kind of assuming that you want a cordless track saw, that's why you probably watch it. If you're choosing out of the two, I think it comes down to battery platforms. We're on the Makita battery platform. For us to get the Festool cordless track saw, we'd have to buy four Festool batteries. They're a bit cheaper than the Makita batteries, but we don't have any, so we'd have to buy four of them. Um, they don't have a twin charger, so we'd have to buy two chargers. Uh, and the saw itself is more expensive anyway. Much bigger purchase to get the cordless Festool for us. You might already be on Festool, so it might be a no-brainer for you. But uh, for us, the cheaper Makita that does just as good a job would be the way to go if we're going cordless. Well said. <laughs> well. <laughs> well said. Yeah, yeah. So Makita, Makita let me borrow that track saw so I could try it out and make this video. And also shout out to Cameron, Systematic Homes, you probably noticed it written on the side of the Festool track saw there. Um, I went and visited him the other day, people have been asking where's Cameron, where's Cameron, and uh, I'm going to finish this video off with his job and uh, hopefully explain where he's been. <laughs> Mind the non hivers Yeah, this is not safe. Huh? Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Don't lose it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you are a champion. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, it's got um, two batteries in there and two chargers. Uh, thank you, Cameron. Good good, champ. So, Cameron, it's been a while since you've been in the videos. I know, right? It's been what? Three months? Four months? Yeah, yeah. What are you up to here? Uh, big warehouse, that's what I'm up to, yeah. I'll show you around. Yeah, I got the healthy set up there. Got all my re rebound or pre bend, you know. Someone tried to steal that one. Yeah, oh, somebody got to my little one, remember? Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, some bastards. <laughs> Stole them on the trailer and everything. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, it's a check out the footing over there. Oh my that God. is actually 2.4 meters deep from the FFL. Jeez. There's gonna be 400 of footing there. Yeah. Then tilt panel going up 8 meters and then that tilt panel gets supported over here onto this footing because there's a sewer line running right underneath that. Oh wow. So they don't want to crush it. Are you, are you happy to be finally getting into it? Yeah, it's been um, what? One year waiting? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that is heavy. Ta -da! Holy moly. Damn, bro. <laughs> and then you flip it around to do the bend. Yeah, so you flip it like that and close that to do the bends. Are you going to do the honors? Yeah, yeah, please blue which is 12 mil yeah 16 mil is the gray one so you kind of try to get the arrow to the, I think this is a 12 try to get it on the green okay and off you go have fun <coughs> oh my god wow I'm running out of uh, spare rebars man <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> too fun eh Good to see you, Cameron. Good to see you too, bro. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs>